So Efua is back here in the studio with me telling you what's trending in social media. Yes, Gifty. And coming up, rains from last night plus 120 minutes of downpour brings back memories of June 3rd. Also, one more celebrity has taken photos with President John Mahama and it's got lots of people talking. Oh, and today is World Egg Day. I'll tell you after the break how you can join us on the interactive segment on Joy News Prime. The show is brought to you by Airtel, which offers you more talk, longer text, and more internet browsing with this amazing too much price. Just dial star 202 hash to enjoy. <laughs> Thanks for staying. Now you can join us in on the conversation. Find us on facebook.com forward slash join news on TV. We are also on Twitter with the same name at join news on TV. You can also hashtag join news prime. Today it's with Gifty and or Apia. Find us via email. It's join news. I am at multitvworld.com. You can send your messages to our WhatsApp number. Our WhatsApp number is 0560 zero five six zero eight hundred thousand please add your name and location when sending us a message to whatsapp and i'll share your comments with the rest of the world now five months ago the country was thrown into a state of mourning after waking up to see devastation caused by rains from the previous night and so almost three hours of rains today was enough to bring all the memories back some key decisions by the Accra Metropolitan Assembly after the June 3 disaster seem to have paid off in some areas, but still there were floods. I visited some of these areas earlier. The construction area, the Kwame Nkrumah Circle, from the accounts of hawkers, was flooded. But at the time of the news team's visit, the waters had receded. The Odo drain overflowed and flooded the pedestrian shopping mall. Traders were seen scooping water out of their stalls. One of the traders who spoke to the news team blamed the construction of the overpass for the recent flooding. It's not the market that causes the flood. It is when they started constructing the overpass that this place started flooding. They should have constructed the drains before the overpass, but they did not. After the AMA's demolition here, we thought we were flood free, but we thought wrong. The whole market is flooded. We need the government to act on it as soon as possible. So that was an excerpt of Ivy Jane Fee's report when she went out to town earlier. Now this is what you've been saying on Facebook and I take your messages now. And this one is from Tangujima. He says, so even after all the destruction of homes and property, we are back to square one. Ghana, are we serious at all? Orison Jr. is not surprised. Upon Annie Francis saying again, some people must resign from their post. Kim Brown is saying that when the wicked rule the nation suffers, Joseph Donko says some Ghanaians are so heartless. I saw some people throwing back the refuse into the drain but they are complaining of poor drainage system. God help Ghana. And yeah, Gifty, I'm sure you saw some of those visuals of people and heard the stories of people who were actually I throwing did. the refuse back into the drains when it was raining. It's well, I haven't sad. seen that story, but it, for me, it's not new. When this yeah. afternoon, I was talking about, well, why don't we just take uh, last year or uh, that was in June, right? Yes. Why don't we just go back to June 
uh, visuals and you know <laughs> and just play exactly. them back because and it's it will like be the, the same, same thing. thing nothing has changed yeah really. except for of course the explosion it's at definitely. the and people filling station died. yes so at least we thank god for right. that joseph don't cause us some Ghanaians are so heartless okay i, I read that already right. And he continues to say, a hey, AMA mayor must speed up his demolition exercise. In fact, nobody should blame anybody. We are the cause of our own problem. Mm -hmm. Now, Mele says, hope people are safe. How did it come to this? Hmm. Dotty Jones says, maintain population size, buy poly tanks to store rainwater, green mm -hmm. every corner of the environment, plant mm -hmm. more trees, and good drainage systems will save the situation. Nanayao Sniper says, oh, you what? They sacrifice <laughs> the poor people living at Sodom and, and Gomorrah for this government failure when the June floods occurred. So now he's who actually is saying next? that they sacrificed it for, for this for this government. All right. Is, is yeah. that what he's saying? I think so. I right. think so. <laughs> and Max Oyebua says, why mm. am I not surprised? Nan Thomas asking dear me that this time what is responsible for this flood? after the demolition of Sodom and Gomorrah. So those are comments on Facebook. Now, Twitter has actually been buzzing with the hashtag Accra Floods. Lots of pictures. Gifty, you have them, right? Right, I do. So the hashtag is Accra Flood. I'm not really a Twitter person, but let's see what we have here. So there's Aquasi Sabon, okay. Also, also part of the Accra, uh, Accra says, Flood. hashtag Accra Flood is trending. Right, and so these are some of the pictures that we put there. You wow, see this woman wow, with wow. her uh, you know, trying to put her stuff together. And, and you this is just about two, this was just about two hours of rain. And you see some of the cars, you know. And I um, had that situation, you know, when I was driving mm -hmm. to work this morning, the cars, I was one of those cars trying to get to work. Out of the water, yes. right? It's, right. it's crazy. Sorry about that, Ifwa, but well, you have to feel it so that you can, you know, <laughs> talk about the problems better as a journalist. And so Jason Bannerman, is tweeting uh, Jason Bannerman says all they do is talk big grammar raise our hopes up yet they do nothing Jason's uh, frustration there and then we go on with a bit more of those comments DJ Prime is tweeting at Prime GH says is even popular uh, a craft loss is even popular than vice, vice president, president Chris 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 now oh, that's so those are some minute, interesting it? tweets okay I shall I go on Oh, you have some more comments on I WhatsApp, have, right? I have comments on WhatsApp. This one is from Stanley Fasa, and he says, I'm extremely downspirited this evening to be Ghanaian. We have proved to ourselves once again that we don't learn from experiences at all. As always, we only shed a few tears and move on after June 3rd. You cannot do things the same way and expect different results. That's what Einstein calls insanity. God help us, Ghana. And this from Stanley in Fasa in Stanley Pasa in the Volta region, Stanley from Pasa in well, the Volta they, they region. seem to be, you know, loving their craft flood because he keeps going on. He says, if you ever witness flood before, you would understand the severity of how these things can get. Jason, I'm taking it that you have been a, a victim before of these floods. He says, it's something I can't live with, but we are hopeful, definitely. Hope seems to be the only thing that we have. Okay, so there's, uh, uh, he says, see, Jeffrey O. Sapong is tweeting at O.J. Sapong, says, in my opinion, Ibrahim Mahama should be sanctioned. Why do we still have a craft flood? <laughs> okay, you're talking about uh, the work that he's supposed to have done on the dredging. dredging. Right, yeah. right. So there's Annie Osabote. Oh, I miss him. I miss you too, Annie. I'm sure you're watching us, uh, so you're being, you're being part of this. All the way in New York. Okay, Columbia. Columbia University yeah, wow. in New York. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, so from from uh, from from Fisherman, that's tweeting. He, he's tweeting at Anil Sabote. Uh, Ghana, same race, same political tunes, just like what we're discussing here. Accra flood and Bambakia Samed says upon all these demolitions, Vanderpoint did nothing except cause pain to people. I am really disappointed. And this one said, I thought we were promised it won't occur again. What yeah. happened? This one is a question coming in from Kweku in oh. Akwetia. And this one is saying that the minority must bow their heads in shame cause. But for Ibrahim Mahama's pro bono dredging, the devastation would have been worse. We got to change our attitudes. And this from Barry Makubaji in Jine Jine Gifty. Interesting. And it seems like Ibrahim Mahama is getting a bit of a backlash there. Well, we'll yeah. get much into that maybe later in the subsequent bulletin. Because uh, this particular picture, uh, Aqua 
It's by what I publicize Ghana tweeting at I publicize GH says a cross for stadium being carried away by the flood. Where, Where did, did we, we go, go wrong? wrong? That's wow. a very, and you very know, big question. For, for this particular area, right, anytime it rains, even a little it's rain, always it's flooded. always soaked, especially the road there when right. you're trying to go to right. the Accra International Conference Center there. But um, we'll have more of your comments on Joy News Interactive in a bit. We'll be right back. Yeah, so it's all about Accra floods. But a lot of people, although are disappointed, well, I might think although, a lot of people are disappointed with this latest uh, news and development, Accra flooding uh, just a couple of months after we uh, a, a, a devastation happened in June. Well, maybe this is why they are venting out their frustration so much. Because 24 hours after actor Boy Scudo's picture with the first gentleman of the land went viral, with lots of backlash another one has popped up this time it is a picture taken by Kamasi Washington and the president Gifty do you know who Kamasi Washington is? I so don't know who I didn't it? I didn't know either so we had to go do some research Kamasi Washington is an American saxophonist composer production editor and band leader so let me just show you the photograph and this is it and he also wrote some Something. nice things exactly. about the president and hashtag empower Ghana's girls. He says it's such a huge honor to meet the president who is really the dedicated president of Ghana, he says. to yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> who is really dedicated to working on women's rights and he's amazing and especially his yeah, fight against yeah. forced child marriage in Ghana and the educational empowerment of all mm, women. women. So that's the photograph there. It looks like it was taken the same day he took Boris Kujo. Because he's wearing the same thing? Yes, yes, right, yes, yes, right. yes. So let's just look at the comments that have come out of this. I'm sure the same people who went to Boris Kujo's page to go and comment on that, who came because here to go and comment on that. Why this. do you say that? Because the, the comments, comments are were pretty similar. Okay. Yeah. Let's go through them. Martin Faith says, no matter how angry we are, we should show respect. One fact remains, he is the president of Ghana. The comment here shows we have no respect for ourselves as a nation. Ghanaians are not the only people on Facebook. And this is after a lot of insulting comments and yeah. calling the president names. But I, I think mean, he has a point, though. He has a point, though. He does have he? a point. That you don't I mean, necessarily need to yeah, get insulting. You don't insulting need to get insulting. You, you right. can criticize, yeah. but yeah. don't if you, insult. Even if you don't like it. I mean, and this one is from Felix, Captain Mojifa, who says, see how people are happy spewing garbage about our president. All but but, but why are you skipping politics. that? There's Kyle... Kyle, Kyle says, Schultz says, says dope, dope sax, dope sax player, player giving, giving love to the Ghanaian government. So maybe government. we don't know a lot of this uh, Washington guy, but yeah. looks like he's a dope sax player. Yeah. You know? And this one says, amazing is those who should know best doing the dirty job. Respect the president authority. as authority. Right. And Barbara Dansubwahini says, I was at the meeting and that's exactly what he said. He said his minister for child services or something standing on the right wearing that outfit <laughs> uh, oh okay i don't know i she now starts insulting yeah because she, be, he begin, she begins like she's saying something good good and, and then she goes like, on mm. swearing and all of that so <laughs> we'll just cut that there so yeah that that's that's is that it. all that's that's it for this particular uh, story and the comments on this particular story but you know today is egg day egg international day. egg day how do you we like have something on that as well we just wanted to know how you liked your egg. Yeah. How do you like your egg? I like my eggs in full. What? Because <laughs> <laughs> what? I like my egg in full. I like the whole package. I, I know people who eat the egg, eat, uh, eat the white thing and leave the yolk. Yeah. I like so it you in like full. That's you what I mean. You like eating an <laughs> all, a whole egg. Oh, that's what you mean. Yes. Okay. okay. How do you like your <laughs> egg? Do you like it? Scrambled, it doesn't matter. Fried. It doesn't yeah. matter. You know, it, it what is this? Matter. Is this egg in soup. granite soup or what? <laughs> Ooh, okay. That Joy News Interactive was brought to you by Airtel, the smartphone network.
That's how we wrap up tonight, but we don't go without telling you the top stories this hour. A two-hour downpour in a cross of major several parts of the national capital in water, despite assurances from city authority to act decisively to end the city's perennial flooding. And amidst the corruption scandal, there are high hopes for justice delivery as an ultra-modern complex housing about 40 courtrooms is commissioned in Accra. For more news, log on to myjoyonline.com. My name is Gifty Amdorf. Here, many thanks for your time. Joy News Prime.